That seemed to work. This is the best air system I've ever had. And that's not saying much, but let's take a look at the details. Starting in the back room back here, I've got my air compressor with a regulator attached, regulated to 90 PSI going into a flexible hose. The flexible hose makes its way up to the inlet of my air dryer, comes out of my air dryer in another flexible hose into the beginning of the copper system. Why'd I do copper? Because it's cool. So I did a drop right here down to another air spigot because why not? I got my compressor back here. I don't know when I'm ever gonna use an air hose back here, but it's available. Now we're back up here in the shop and where the copper pipe is going through the wall back there comes out right here. And then we go into this ball valve so we can turn it on to the system that's in here. Now we got a little gauge so we can see that we're sitting at 90 PSI. The pipe comes over here goes to a little outlet, which is just my blow gun for the lathe. Comes back around over here, over my doorway, and we got a little, little happening here. <laughs> Whoop, don't worry about that. So we're coming through this wall here, and I gotta finish this wall yet here, but we got another airline coming out with another spigot. So I've got an airline for the, for the fab shop, just general 
air usage here. Back on this side of the doorway, the line continues down, and this is what's feeding the CNC mill. You can see we're going around the corner. Another flex hose right here, which goes through the machine. Out of the casting here, does a little coil, comes down, feeds this. Now I can turn air onto the machine here. So now I've got built-in shop air, regulated to 90 PSI. I got a ball valve, I got a gauge I can look at. I got copper lines running everywhere, which looks beautiful. It's not gonna corrode, it doesn't leak. I've got a quick disconnect at each station that I need it at. It's been a big job getting my CNC mill here in the garage, operational. This air system was the last piece of the puzzle and it's finally here this thing's fully operational so next up is just to start making stuff we got to start using this thing and moving on with some with some cool projects so stay tuned for that thank you for watching